A look ahead to tonight's 2020 on the murder of top fashion designer Johnny Versace outside his Miami home. It has captivated so many for 20 years and John Quinones is here with a look inside the mind of the serial killer who committed the crime. Good morning, John. Good morning, George. For three months in 1997, Andrew Kunanen sent authorities on a frantic cross-country manhunt as he drove state to state, killing four people along the way, ultimately arriving at Gianni Versace's doorstep in Miami. It was the high society murder that stunned the world. Gianni Versace was murdered in broad daylight this morning. Designer to the stars, Gianni Versace gunned down on the steps of his lavish South Beach home. I think Versace had everything that Cunanan wanted. He wanted power, fabulous wealth, admiration. Andrew Cunanan, born into a modest household in San Diego. The bright 27-year-old worked his way up and floated in some of the world's most elite social circles. Versace was a wealthy, older gay man. Exactly the type of person Andrew made money off of, but I think hated at the same time. But when a relationship with another man ended and Kunanan suddenly lost his social status, investigators believe he snapped and went on a cross-country murder spree, killing four people along the way. The FBI is seeking Kunanan. Andrew Kunanan makes the top 10 FBI list. You had people in all parts of the country wondering whether Andrew Kunanan was gonna show up at their house. Authorities admit that by now, Kunanan could be anywhere. And you know what he was doing? He was hiding in plain sight. Police hot on his trail, Kunanan outmaneuvering them at every step, eventually landing in South Beach, where on the morning of July 15, 1997, Versace made his daily trip down to the local cafe to buy his Italian newspaper. He said, uh, good morning. I said, good morning, you know, and um, he went up towards his house. I didn't know that, that Johnny was out. As he's walking up the stairs, uh, what we know now to be Andrew Cunanan comes up behind him and shoots him twice in the head. When we heard bang, bang, I thought it was backfire from the lawnmower that was being worked on. Oh my God, there's blood everywhere. Please, help me, please. So I run out the door and Johnny was laying there. I check his, his artery, he was gone. The fashion icon left murdered on his front steps. And Cunanan's motive? I believe that Andrew Cunanan singled out Johnny Versace to murder because he was jealous of the lifestyle. I think he said, I'm going down sometime, so I want to go down in history. He wanted to be Bundy. He wanted to be Dahmer. He wanted the recognition he felt he deserved. Tonight, we'll take you inside the final stages of the manhunt as Miami police finally close in on Cunanan, who had been hiding on a houseboat across from the Fountain Blue Hotel, as then he turns the gun on himself, George. Mm. So we, according to John Walsh, he thought he singled out Versace, but did they have any relationship? That is the enduring question and mystery. There are those who say they were very close, that uh, Cunanan and Versace had met, that in fact he was a house guest at uh, Versace's house. Uh, but then there are others who say the two never met, that he never met the man who wound up mm. killing him. For 20 years, still a mystery, John. Fascinating stuff. Full report tonight on 2020 at 10.